this way, yeah. Slant angle, winding backwards. And because you're gonna do the eyes here, you're gonna tie the, the bead chain here. You tie it in this position. Uh. Don't want it too close. Too close, you have no space at the end. You're gonna tie the bead chain first. Set it in on the tray. Yeah. Uh, make sure it sits on the tray so it doesn't move around the shank. Uh. Just crisscross first. And then you do a figure eight. Then put some tread in the front and the back so it won't move. And you can also go full circle underneath both the eyes. That will prevent it from tilting. Okay, now it's firm already. Take your tray to the back. Tie a bunch of marabou. Any colour after you, you can use any colour you want. About this much. <coughs> Put it about double the hook length. The body you're going to use also. This one is going to give you some body. So just tie over the material, don't cut it off. Like this. I'm going to tie some silly legs. <clears throat> this will give a lot more movement for your fly. Tie on the side of the body of the hook. <laughs> also on the other side. See the advantage of having a rotating vise, huh? you can just adjust the angle to tie, you don't have to take out, remove and adjust again. Mm. Like for you, uh, you are uninclined one, huh? I tell you, you tie a lot of nice flies, <laughs> seriously. Before you know it, you'll be teaching me the <laughs> patterns. <laughs> Not for some time. Uh. Add more marabou. In the center. Make it really bushy for this fly because this marabou once it gets wet, nah, it's very very slim. Mm -hmm. So you need to add a bit more. And always tie this bunch way below behind the point of the <coughs> of the hook. Otherwise, it will wrap round if you don't. Mm -hmm. If it's too far front from here. Now what I'm going to do is going to add heckle for the body. I'm going to palmer some heckle. Tie this in by the stock. Move your tray to the front. It's a heckle plier where you used to hold the, the heckle so you can spin it around so it opens up. With this, with this opened up like that, you can push the this material push the water, so you get bubbles and a lot more movement. Boleh, boleh juga.
Jadi memang takkan ada yang floating ya? Floating ya? Floating ya? Sekejap lah, bagi saya satu minit ya. Okay, now you finish this. Build up the head, build up already. Now to finish the fly. This way, put it in and turn. Turn the loop. Yeah. One more time ah. Huh? Hmm. Not this way ya. Huh? You go under the thread, pull it, turn the loop over. And make the loop go wrap around. Mm. Remember, this part of the thread is always under the eye. Just a few turns of that enough already. Take it off. And you need to add this head cement so the thread doesn't unravel. Mm. And it also gives you gloss, some shine on the head. This fly is called woolly bugger, good enough.